This is 5 Minute Friday on Palm, Google's breakthrough natural language model. On April 4th, Google announced a new large natural language model called Palm, short for Pathways Language Model, that is truly a remarkable breakthrough. On 28 of 29 English language natural language processing tasks they purport to have tested, they achieved state-of-the-art results, defeating well-known large language models of recent years like GPT-3 by sizable margins in many cases. These tasks span a broad range of capabilities from question answering to sentence completion and from common sense reasoning to natural language inference. Palm even performed well on multilingual NLP tasks like translation between languages, despite only 22% of the training data being composed of non-English language. Beyond these established natural language tasks, Google also tested Palm on a new benchmark suite called Beyond the Imitation Game Benchmark, or Big Bench, for short. These Big Bench benchmarks span 150 different natural language tasks that are particularly tricky as they require machines to, for example, distinguish cause and effect, understand context-specific language, and guess movie names based on emoji. Not only did Palm outperform prior machine models on many of these tasks, but it also exceeded the capability of an average human on some of them, although it still fell well short of expert human capability. As a staggering example of Palm's capacity, it can even explain brand new jokes that it couldn't possibly have learned from its internet-based training data. Here is one such novel joke that Palm was prompted to explain in natural language. Okay, here's the joke. Did you see that Google just hired an eloquent whale for their TPU team? It showed them how to communicate between two different pods. All right, so Palm responded with an outstanding explanation of that joke. Here it is. TPUs are a type of computer chip that Google uses for deep learning. A pod is a group of TPUs. A pod is also a group of whales. The joke is that the whale is able to communicate between the two groups of whales, but the speaker is pretending that the whale is able to communicate between the two groups of TPUs. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that is really amazing that it's able to understand the intention behind these jokes. Well, not to literally quote unquote understand it, but to be able to explain it. So not only that, but Palm goes beyond natural language alone. It can also solve programming questions like converting C code to Python code, or taking a natural language only problem like you might see in an undergraduate computer science course and responding with working code as a solution. All of this happens despite having 50 times less Python code in its training data relative to previous state-of-the-art programming language models. So you may be wondering, how does Palm achieve these feats? Well, first, Palm is quite a large model with 540 billion parameters, which is about three times more than GPT-3, but it's also only about a third of the size of the largest model I'm aware of today, China's Wudao 2.0. The single biggest innovation within Palm is that it leverages Google's pathways approach to training large language models, which allows for concept-specific modules to be shared by myriad different computational pathways within the model. And uh, Palm did this at a hitherto untested parameter scale. To repeat that, the key innovation within Palm is scaling up this powerful pathways modeling approach to half a trillion parameters, many fold more parameters than had previously been trained using the pathways approach. And that also explains how Palm, again, an abbreviation of pathways language model, got its name. So what's next? Well, according to Google's results at various orders of magnitude, it appears that Palm could benefit from trillions of parameters or more. Google haven't disclosed that they're going to do this next with the model, but given how large language models like Palm reliably exhibit more and more emergent behaviors the larger they become, I'd say it's a good bet that we'll be hearing about mind-blowing new Palm feats soon from a new variation that has over a trillion parameters. As for what you can do next, Check out the link in the show notes to read more examples of incredible linguistic inference, cause and effect, and coding capabilities that Palm has today. All right, that's it for this 5-Minute Friday episode. Keep on rocking it out there, folks, and I'm looking forward to enjoying another round of the Super Data Science Podcast with you very soon.